Okay, so welcome to another Arius Wave update. So basically, I want to talk about a couple of things. So, look, in a world where everything is nothing what it seems, everybody seems to fall back on what appears to be a short thing. What if you are being fooled? Well, not being fooled, but what if you are a part of what most people think is the idea that cryptos will save the world? The truth is no one knows that for sure. Arius Wave suggests that everything that you thought was going to happen is only an illusion. You are a part of that illusion because you are a part of the masses of people that make up the fractal pattern based on social mood that makes you believe that. If you are listening to this video right now, then chances are that you are looking for an answer. And my job is to give you a bit of a indication on what's going on. So if you have been listening to any of my videos recently, you understand that I believe gold is the true hedge against what's coming. So Arius wave labels waves in a particular wave way that has never been seen before. Well, I can say that with a pretty high level of accuracy because I invented it. I am the sole creator of Arius wave. Now, a lot of people may say, well, you can't catch a falling knife. Yeah, well, bitch, I did that. And I'm in the process of doing that right now. So whether you understand what the hell that means or not, it has irrelevance. There's, there's no relevance to it. Because the fact is that Arius Wave provides you with a methodology that not only gives you every single wave that happens, but it tells you that there are only a certain combination that can occur within a wave structure ever that will lead to the next wave structure, which in this case is uh, the very beginning of a very large move to the upside. Okay. So there is no other wave structure that can occur after what we have seen here or here. Okay. So these particular things give me the evidence that I need to proceed to say, look, this is not going to go down. Okay, this is only going to go up. Now, I don't know if you've seen my previous videos, but this is not going to go down. And perhaps you understand or you've read, maybe you've read the book, um, Intermarket Technical Analysis by John J. Murphy. You understand that certain things happen at certain times with the US dollar and commodities and the bond yields that lead to a certain outcome. Now, whether or not you understand the macro background, I was never a fan of that before, but I've become a massive fan of it now because I am very curious, not only about the waves, but about the way that they interconnect with the other markets. And that's how I I'm slowly becoming very powerful without anybody noticing. So whatever, um, I don't care. Like I don't care that nobody really knows me, but here I am and you're listening to me and you know, you're getting an understanding that, you know what? I can catch a falling knife because not only did I ha do I have the wave uh, methodology that I created, but I also have this thing called logic, understanding, common sense based on a macro background, but using a sound technically 
sound wave principle, which is not Elliott wave, it is RS wave. Okay, so let's get that straight. <clears throat> okay, so isn't it interesting? And it, look, I'm not going to show it to you now. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, go back from my videos on the link and below, whatever. What's going on right now? Okay, so we see that there's something going on with the the Dow Jones. Okay, now is this just something that is just happening? I don't know. Recently? No. Well, I called this. I called this back here. Literally called it back here. Right? This pattern here is like the crown on a chessboard. Right? Literally, like, like I, I called it. Boom. What's happened since? This is not a mistake. Go back through my videos, understand what you're seeing, form your opinion. But there's something more that I'm not willing to share just yet. And it affects cryptos based on the US dollar pattern, which, you know, inversely is the euro. Um, and you know what? I don't feel like I'm going to share that right now. Let's wait a little longer. Let's wait. You know what? Let's wait until we get a break of this low here. Right there. This red dotted line at about 33,000 on the Dow Jones. And then we'll start talking about what I think is going on in cryptos, right? And trust me, you will not like this. This is not going to be something that you agree with. But let's just see. Let's just see if we can break a low or as some may call it, a higher low on the Dow Jones. If we can break a higher low on the Dow Jones, then, you know, Maybe I'll start sharing my ideas because you know what? I've been caught out several times and I'm not in the mood to deal with that kind of bullshit right now. But all I can tell you is right up that top right there. I caught a low. I said, short that shit. If you can, if you dare, I did mm, make some good profits, but there's so much profits to be made in the markets, as you know. And um, I've already told you to short the euro, and I told you to not short the euro. But I always tell you that I am not a financial advisor. I only tell you to use this as a guide, okay? So please, don't take my words literally, because I am only some guy on the internet that is talking about waves. And also, um, well doesn't show his face let's just say that for now um but in all honesty though like i can tell you that really really are you not getting the picture right now are you not understanding what i've been trying to tell you okay that's fine but okay let's take a look at bitcoin Let's look at the BLX. Okay. Now, mind you, this particular chart is a five wave move since the GFC. Yeah, you know, looks pretty impressive. Zero to, you know, what, 60 something shit grand. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. You know, that's just um, amazing. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's very heartwarming. It's, it's beautiful, right? Just ask Michael Saylor. And ask a whole bunch of people on YouTube who are trying to push this son of a bitch higher with their words. But... The truth is that your words cannot push up 
something that is driven by social mood human psychology. No matter who talks about it, this particular wave structure is already doomed. If you can't see it, that's fine. But if you put it together, the pieces of the puzzle from my previous, previous analysis, you will start to understand that there is one move coming for all cryptos. And that involves a five wave move to the downside. So big that you can't even see. You can't even see how big it is. You can't. Okay. Now, whether or not this is topped or not, I'm not saying it's topped right now. But I'm telling you that the larger picture suggests that this is doomed. And every single crypto is doomed. Okay. I know. It's a pretty bold statement to make. But I bet you any money that it will have its place in history as being the biggest bubble ever. Now, I'm not saying that it ain't going to bounce back because it will bounce back in a way that nobody could expect. And the problem here lies in within is that that's exactly what's going to happen. Nobody will expect the bounce back that's going to occur. Okay. So the, the balance of power, the transfer of wealth will really lie within the knowledge of what's going to happen in the markets, not the knowledge or the foresight of what's going to happen with a particular crypto or the early adoption or all that BS bullshit nonsense. Okay. That's the fool's game. The fool's game is being played. The pizza guy, the Winklevosses, the Michael Saylors, that, that shit is already played out. Okay. What you're going to see next is going to be the real test of where the power goes. Who has the control? Okay. So it's, it's, it's a game that will, it's going to be very interesting, especially when you think about all those unused Satoshis that are laying dormant since the beginning of time. Well, you've really got to think about that. Why is that a thing? But anyway, apart from that, let's go to the Euro chart. So with the Euro chart, I did suggest at one time that potentially we could be seeing uh, a move lower. Now that move lower could only signify that something is happening in the markets that will either lead to a pretty big move to the downside. That means big dollar strength, US dollar strength. Um, I haven't, like, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be that massive but considering what i've now learned there is a potential that this could be something that is so weird that it could go for ages and in a big way uh i don't want to try and explain that right now because it seems harsh but just in case you were wondering, well, ideally, it's not going to last too long. But on the other hand, when you look at my gold analysis long term, something far worse is brewing. And that's the part I can't really get a handle on right now. Like, I will try. Mind you, I will try. But there is something that is a little bit amiss with the analysis that it, I might not be 100% sure on. All I know is that there's going to be a fucking catastrophe in the markets from now. So if you're in stocks and bonds, I suggest 
you get the fuck out. If you're in cryptos right now, I suggest you know at least the pattern. Even if it's going to go up a little bit further, whatever, and then get out. Um, in terms of currencies, well, same deal. Same deal. I, I can't get my head around all of that yet, quite yet. Like some of those currencies might flail a bit. Um, which suggests to me that potentially we could see certain currencies uh, weather, weather the storm. But I'm not sure. It's It's too hard to tell. At this point in time, it's too hard to tell. Any type of long trade I've had on currencies against the US dollar right now, I suggest no, no, don't do that. It's wrong. Those were only ideas and, you know, it's, it's probably not a good idea. Now, I've been predicting this type of move since day dot. Last year, I predicted this kind of move, and I thought it would never happen. Uh, to a certain extent, I thought that potentially it was going to... Well, actually, it's unfolding exactly the way I thought it would. But I suppose like it's, it's very hard to <clears throat> pick and choose exactly where the market will go when you have such a complex pattern. But in, in, in all honesty, like I don't, I don't discount this pattern going to at least, well, let's call it the low. I, I reckon it would definitely hit the low and probably far, far worse than that. Uh, mm. let's just say this goes to 93 cents, which I don't think it will, but actually I do think it will, uh, based on the length of wave C, mm, most likely. But the question is, will it go lower? So at the moment we're looking at an A pattern. So that's an A wave in terms of Arius wave. So what happens if it goes lower? Does that mean that the A wave idea is broken? Well, yes, actually it does mean that. And it means that if we see a five wave move that goes down lower, we could be seeing potentially a turn in the markets. Now, I highly doubt that at this point, but it's not something that I'm gonna rule out completely. But at this point, I'm going to say, you know what? Mm, depending on the severity of the Dow crash, we may see uh, we we may see like a bounce in the euro that has long-term repercussions until the point where we actually, you know, continue upward. You know, <clears throat> so what that means is like, if we're looking at an A wave here, we could see a B wave, C wave, D wave, E wave, and then we could continue higher, right? Nobody knows that. We have to wait and see a little bit longer. We have certain targets, but at the same time, uh, I'm really going to keep my eye on the credit market right now, like the TNX, 10-year 10 10-year bond yields, because those are the ones that are um, really giving me the um, ideas at this point, because, like, uh, <laughs> Gregory Manorino says, the credit market is the head of the dog and... The equities market is the tail. Well, is that actually Gregory who said that? I can't remember now. Anyway, the point is that the credit market is the one that dictates everything. Everything else doesn't matter. <laughs>